Praise God. My name is Princess Pam Alini Feshalom. We welcome you once again to our online service. Please follow us on our Facebook page and YouTube, both as Selfie Life Church. As our worship team prepares to come, let's open up with a word of prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you for today, Jesus. Help us to pray well, Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit come upon us, Jesus, even the worship team, Jesus, as it is going to come, Jesus. Give them the Holy Spirit, Jesus, and our pastor, Lord. Bless him, Jesus, and bless the people who are watching us online. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Just making new one 
way just speak in your own tongue and say that you are the Lord that is able. He's able to do anything that you can. He's able to do anything that pandemic occurs. You are able to do anything in the pandemic situation. I'm speaking to somebody that is so twanted, that as you raise your hand, the Lord is able to save you wherever you are. Jesus, we worship you. <laughs> He's able, 
disabled and the able. I don't want me to talk that pain.
hands and clap for our God. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. It's your friend again, Pastor Samson, Benon Kaboko, uh, this afternoon. I want to bless the name of the Lord for you who has kept you, kept you alive, kept you going. We have every reason to praise him and to glorify his name. Before we proceed, I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity of serving you, praising you, honoring you, and worshiping you. And Lord, as I speak this afternoon, it's my prayer that, Lord, you will speak to us. You will encourage us. You will renew us and you will revive us. And your name will be praised, King of glory. And as I share the word, I pray you will power pack it, Lord, and follow it to make it come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. And we bless the name of the Lord today. I have a powerful message for you, and it's entitled, What Next? What next? I think that is a question that everybody is asking, especially in these times of COVID. We've been in times of silence, times of pain, times of havoc, times of stress, times of confusion because of the pandemic. And I know it's now a number of months and somebody is wondering, what is next? And maybe you're there listening to me at this moment. And that is your prime question. I have answers for you. And we are going to go straight in Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. And we're going to go through it very, very quickly. And let want to explore what happened to Isaiah. There is something that happened there that we can identify with in our time today. In the times of the pandemic today, we can identify with Isaiah 6. This is what the Bible says. It was a vision that Isaiah saw. And this is what it says from verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each had six wings, with two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew, and one called to another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory, and the foundations of the thresholds shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongues from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and say to these people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of, his, of these people dull, and their ears heavy, and blind their eyes, lest they, they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. Then I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, Until cities lie west without inhabitant, and houses without people, and the land is a desolate west, and the Lord removes people far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land, and though a tenth remain in it, it will be burned again like a terrible or an oak whose stamp remains when it, it is felled. The holy seed is its trunk. That is the word of the Lord. And I want to quickly just run through it in the next couple of minutes. What next? Isaiah acknowledges that in the year King Uzziah died, he saw the glory of God. He saw the hand of God. He saw the might works of God. I want to tell you, child of God, you is listening to me in this time of the pandemic. So many things have died. So many things have been messed up. 
so many things have been destroyed. And maybe some of you are fearful. Some of you are confused. Some of you are seeing defeat. Some of you are seeing failure. The jobs have gone. Your loved ones have gone. The marriage is gone. The land is gone. They have forgotten you. They have forsaken you. In a time like this, I want you to open your eyes wide and see and behold the glory of God. You can see the glory of God. In fact, I'm praying for you right now that amidst whatever is happening, you will see the glory of God. The year 2020, may you see the glory of God. May you see the power of God. May you see the hand of God. May this year be different. May this year be glorious in the name of Jesus. And I want to say this. That before you see that, I know many things have to die. But there is a king thing that must die in your life. A king thing. The Bible says in their king Uzziah died. In other words, other young things had kept dying and dying. But there is a year when the king thing in Isaiah had to die. And that was King Uzziah. Who is your Uzziah? What is he doing in your life? Unless he dies and you remove your eyes off the king and put them unto the king of kings, unto the lord of lords, you may never see the glory of God. If your eyes are still firmly fixed on your employer, forget the glory of God. If your eyes are fixed on your spouse, forget the glory of God. If your eyes are fixed on a family, forget the glory of God. If your eyes are fixed on the surrounding, on the neighborhood, on the politicians, on the political leaders, forget to see the glory glory of God. So what is next? We see that amidst that vision there was a burning coal that touched the, 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 the seraphim got and put on the lips of Isaiah and Isaiah got cleansed. Child of God, you can be cleansed amidst this time. You can be clean. You can be holy in the name of Jesus. Among the things you must consider is to daily repent, daily to cry out for a cleansing, for a sanctification in the name of Jesus. And so what next? Go on your knees and you cry out to him and tell him, forgive me, daddy, heal me, daddy, sanctify me, daddy, and you will be clean. And when you are clean, the glory will come. You will keep in the presence of the Lord. You will keep right where he is. And when he speaks, when he speaks, let me tell you, you will be able to hear in the times of COVID. I want you to hear God. I want you to hear him speak. I want you to hear his glory in the name of Jesus. Yes, he can speak to you in this time. And then the other thing that needs to happen next, amidst this that we are going in, the voice said, who shall I send? Who shall I send? In times like this, the Lord is still asking, Who shall I send? Whom shall I send on mission? Whom shall I send to that village? Whom shall I send to the nations? And Isaiah said, Here I am. Send me. I pray that among the people listening to me, they will forget what is around them. They will forget the losses around them. And they will say, Lord, here I am. I am ready to go. There are those three things that are going to happen or should be happening next. Number one, you ask for cleansing. Number two, you keep in his presence. And number three, you acknowledge the call upon your life and say, Lord, here I am. Please send me. But for those three to happen, the king thing in your life has to die. It has to die, child of God. There are things that have to die. Tonight, when you go to pray, I want you to ask God to destroy some of those things that have been controlling your life. Maybe there is something, maybe there is a habit that has been controlling you. Maybe too much love for money. Maybe you're a glutton. Maybe you're full of yourself, full of pride. That pride has to die. There are things that must die. And life has to begin after that. A new glory has to begin after after that, and I want to challenge each one of you, when you go to your closet, please honestly cry out unto the Lord. Cry out unto the Lord and ask him to kill what needs to be killed in the name of Jesus. And then you begin a new life and you remove your eyes of that thing and you fix them unto the king of kings. When you do that, a new life, a new level, a new joy, a new peace shall bombard you in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I've deliberated your word. In the name of Jesus, people are asking, what next? 
They are crying, what next? They are wondering, what next? Jehovah Jireh. It happened to Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, he removed his eyes of the king and he put the eyes onto you. Lord, I pray that the next thing that will happen in this nation and all over the globe is for men to fix their eyes on you, to remove their eyes of their jobs and their neighborhoods and fix them on you in the name of Jesus. May they desire to be cleansed. May they desire to keep in your presence. May they desire desire to acknowledge the call. May they desire to respond to this call in the name of Jesus. It is my cry that whoever will follow the instincts and the things that have come out of this text, Lord, you shall bless. Lord, you shall dwell in them. Lord, you shall encourage. Lord, you shall do a new thing in them. Lord, you shall encourage them. Lord, they shall behold your glory. We thank you and we bless you. In Christ Jesus we do pray. Amen. God bless you so much and have a beautiful week in Jesus' name. Welcome back from our online service. I hope you enjoyed it. We are live every Sunday at 3 p.m. Follow us on our Facebook page and YouTube, both at Set Free Life Church. Thank you for watching.